Lately, I've seen a lot of videos on social media with people using a continuous blood glucose monitor and showing what happens to their blood sugar after they eat different foods. And then the implication is that some foods are better because the blood sugar exertion after they eat them is flat or as close to flat as possible, whereas other foods are bad because the blood sugar goes higher and then comes down. And I wanted to speak to that for a minute here and say that this is, for the most part, nonsense. First of all, glucose is the preferred fuel for the brain, for muscle cells and other tissues in our body. Second of all, the very fact that the blood sugar goes up in the bloodstream after you eat some food that has carbohydrates in it is a positive thing. It shows that your body, your intestine is breaking down the food properly and the intestinal lining is absorbing the sugar and it shows up in the bloodstream. Now, I realize, and I'm a physician, and I know people who have insulin resistance, who have prediabetes or diabetes, in which when they eat certain foods, especially like simple carbohydrates, sugar-rich foods, their blood sugar spike is higher and then it drops precipitously sometimes to levels that are too low. That is a problem. But again, for most of you guys, if you don't have insulin resistance, if you exercise regularly, if you eat a balanced, healthy diet, and for the most part, avoid sugary stuff and sweet beverages, you don't have to worry that certain foods make your sugar go higher than others. So don't freak out that if you eat bananas or some other carbohydrate food that is otherwise healthy, you are going to become insulin resistant because that sugar spike is going to blow your insulin <laughs> through the roof. And here's a bonus tip. The same process that triggers your insulin to go up when you absorb carbohydrates happens for the most part when you eat protein-rich foods because the insulin is by design going to go up whether you eat carbohydrate-rich foods or protein-rich foods. In the same manner that glucose triggers the insulin to go up after a glucose-rich meal, the same thing happens after a protein-rich meal. The amino acids that the protein is broken down into in our digestive system triggers an insulin response that is quite vigorous and proportional to the amount of amino acid and protein that you ate for that meal. Myth busted, I hope, my friend. Don't ingest everything that some carnivore diet proponent puts out there to scare you away from healthy foods. I'm Dr. Gilly. Follow me for more.